Chapter 44 Horror Stories I do believe that people enjoy scaring themselves over nothing. How else can you explain the frightening and violent drama that comes over television nightly or that fills the movie screens? For all too many people there is a fascination about horror stories and an appeal to fear. I can recall as a boy how many other boys enjoyed scary stories and found a pleasure in being terrified. A really terrifying movie attracted them readily. I am not against fear as such. Fear has its place in life when its focus is right. I recall a classmate of mine, now dead, who was discharged from the Air Force because, while very capable, he had no fear. He was thus reckless with multi-million dollar planes and took foolhardy chances. He was in a real sense a defective person, and he died young. Healthy fear is a warning signal of danger, and it is basic to man's survival. But needless fear is equally defective, and to court needless fear is to court a loss of understanding. This desire for needless fear is thus an indication that something is very wrong with our day. To terrify ourselves over monsters from outer space, or spacecraft enemies, or over something fictional and imagined, is about as sensible as starving ourselves when there is food on the table. Solomon says, quote, The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. End quote. Proverbs 1, 7 The fear of the Lord is a healthy and realistic thing. It means that we recognize His sovereign power, and when we sin, are rightfully fearful. The fear of the Lord is a healthy and productive fear. Fools do not fear God because they despise wisdom and instruction. They have no sense of reality. They invent imaginary things to fear, knowing that they can walk away and forget their fears, rather than facing up to reality and doing something about their sins and shortcomings. The fool gets a pleasure scaring himself over creatures from outer space and the like, because he can walk away from and know that his fear is groundless. However, when we fear God, we know that it is our sin that makes us afraid. Genesis 3.10 This means that we must do something about ourselves and our relationship to God. It is this fear and knowledge which is the beginning of wisdom. What are you afraid of? Does your fear lead to knowledge or to foolishness?